It's time for Uncle Hank. Question everything with M. Kalani Souza and Uncle Hank Bergstrom. Hey there, Yangi. We hear Uncle Hank. Hey, hello, my gang. That's where we hello. question. You know, you know what makes me sick, gang. I'll tell you what makes me sick. Good. The way the government is responding to this whole pandemic. We need to talk about this sickening subject. This I'll is, tell you. This is insanity. First of all, gang, look, look. I'm not a scientist. I'm not anybody special. I'm not even that damn smart. But I can tell you, it's not that hard to wear a mask. And look, you know, I understand privacy rights and all these kinds of stuff. But is that what we're really talking about? We're yeah, I mean, I guess wearing a mask is the equivalent of doing something nice for your neighbor. Yes, hello. I mean, it's like, you know, I'm, whether you believe it or not, what is believable is that it's so bad, they actually have refrigerated trucks outside of hospitals to put the dead. You know what I don't get is presently the death toll is at 3,000 Americans a day. 3,000. Now, let me remind you, that's the number of Americans that died in 9-11. We started an everyday world war over 3,000 Americans. Now we're losing that every day. Every day. So, you know, all you deniers out there who think that it's not going on, I personally have friends who have died from COVID. So uh, how do we say, and Chris, you can bleep this, go f*** yourselves. <laughs> well, what we really want you to do is understand, but... We want you to understand the whole picture. Look, the bottom line is we don't even have a, a well-tested, verifiable test. Okay, we can't even tell you what it is yet. Listen, when, so the federal government, when the federal government tells you it's 14 days, that's the federal government's way of saying they don't know. They have no idea what the yeah. incubation period is. So if something doesn't pop up, that's what they're saying. So I love Uncle Hank because he's so generous. I'm not that generous. Once again, if you're a non-mask wearing spreader, go f*** yourself. <laughs> we got to look at this very carefully because what, what's happening in this state is they're now opening it up for tourism. So now, Tourism! Tourism! Now take this. We have to stay home. We have to do all this masking up. Listen, which, Hawaii is... Only Hawaii and Maine are the numbers not out of control. Got that? Hawaii and Maine. And our governor starts opening up for business. Business from states where the COVID is out of bit, control. Yes. I guess they're trying to even off the, the balancing scales here. Well, the amazing That's thing like, is this testing at the airport. I'm sorry, that doesn't work. You get on a plane for five hours breathing the same air with mask or not with everybody else using the bathroom. If you pulled off your mask once to take a drink of water, you're already risking everything. So you know what? Knock it off. We do love tours, but is it time now? You gotta really ask yourself. I don't know. Is it time I, to bring I don't them know. in? A, again, again, maybe with the in a couple tourists. weeks. I don't know about loving tourists. I might uh, tolerate I, tourists. You yes. know what? We reach ten million tourists a year. Ten million. Where do they crap? Where do those tourists go? Shishi. Pound of shit a day. Hey man, what's happening yeah. here? We only got one point two million people here, and what we're bringing ten more million people's crap into the islands. The bottom line is, HTA is out of control. Okay, Hawaii Tourism Authority. Are you kidding me? One hundred fifty million dollars a year. They don't need to spend one dollar convincing people to come. We could spend twenty million. Telling them to stay away. We only want 5 million tourists. No way. They would keep on coming. Here's another thing. Shut down half of those howly businesses that came in from out of state and milk the money out of our state. Yes. Kick them out. Less competition. Channel the services to local-based companies. Be protectionists. Yes, protect yourself first, you and your family. Protect because our family. They don't care what's going to happen. And to that you. does not include inviting strangers into your home during a pandemic. We live on an island in the middle of an ocean, two thousand miles from everything. Get smart, people. We're even cautious about inviting our friends over. I don't even know why yeah. you're here. Why are you here? <laughs> I, I. Yeah, yeah. 
if I had just not had my COVID test the day before yesterday, I probably wouldn't have made it. You had a COVID test. Well, gang, that's what we end up having to do. This is the new reality. We got to do COVID tests. We got to put up with strangers who are coming to town. I'm telling you, we got to put some kind of cautionary tale up for our children and our communities for our own health sake. And you don't need the government to tell you, brother. You know. You yourself know to stop pretending it doesn't exist. Question everything, gang. Question. You can question whether or not you need a mask. You can question whether or not it works. But I'll tell you something about the disease. You're going to die anyway. It don't care. Hello, gang. Be safe. Be well. Take care of one another. Come be a part of a minority view. Oh, hippo, Ike. Ika, hello, ho, okahi.